Today we're solving a systems of equations using Kramer's rule. Um, first you need to start off by finding the uh, determinant. And to do that, you place what your x's would be in the coefficient matrix. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll have 4 and 8. And on the right-hand side, you'll have negative 3 and negative 7, corresponding to what the x's and y's are in the equations. Um, you will cross-multiply them. First, you'll have the top left number, which would multiply by the bottom right number, and you'll have negative 4 times negative 7, and you get negative 28. And then you'll take 8 by negative 3, which is negative 24. You'll always take the difference of the two numbers. Um, you'll end up with your determinant as negative 4. Um, <laughs> to solve for x, you take what your answers of the equations would be, and you put them on the left hand side. So on the top left you'll have 18 and on the bottom left you'll have 34. And on the right hand side you'll have um, what your y's would be because you leave out the x's. You have negative 3 and negative 7 and you just put this the determinant on the bottom to know that you'll be dividing it and after you find the difference. And so you start off with 18 times negative 7 and that equals negative 126 and then you take the difference of that by what 34 times negative 3 would be, and that's 102. What your answer will be is negative 24. And then you divide that by the determinant, and your answer equals 6. Now to solve by for y. Um, you start off with what your x values would be, or like what your x coefficients, that's what I mean, would be. And on the left side, you'd have 4 and 8. And then on the right side, you would have what your answers to the equations are. And it's 18 and 34. And you do the same thing again. Um, and you multiply 4 by 34, and that's 136. And then you multiply 8 by 18, and that's 144. And then you find the difference again, which is negative 8. Then you divide by the term determinant again, and your answer will be 2. And that's how you come up with Six, two. That's your Today we're finding the variables x, y, and z using Kramer's rule. First, to, first thing you have to do is find the determinant. And to find the determinant, you line all of the x's up in one row, all the y's in the z. And then since it's a three by three, you need to add the first two rows to the back. And you cross it all over. And when you cross everything over, you will get negative seven. After you get negative 7, you need to find x. And for x, you always make sure that you substitute the solution for the variable you're trying to find. So it'd be the solution, y, and z. And make sure, and then you cross everything over. And then when you cross everything over, you get 0. And you need to divide 0 by negative 7. And that gives you 0. For y, you're doing the same process. And so you just cross everything over. And when you cross everything over and subtract, the two, you'll get negative 35, and then you subtract, divide negative 35 by negative 7, and you get 5. For z, you're doing the same process again, and you're just crossing everything over, and when you've, subcross, when you've crossed <laughs> and subtract, uh, subtracted everything, you'll get negative 28, which you, will which you will divide by negative 7 and get 4, so your answer will be 0, 5, 4. Ooh. Today we will be solving a 2 by 2 equation using Kramer's rule on a graphing calculator. First you will second matrix and we're going to use D for this so you'll go over to edit and you'll hit 4 for D and then you'll want to change your 1 by 1 to 2 by 2 and then you'll enter and then you'll fill in your chart which in our case is going to be 4 Enter negative 3, 8, and negative 7. And then you'll go second mode to get out of it. And then you'll hit second matrix. And then you'll go over to math and you'll hit 1 for the determinant. And then you'll hit second matrix again. And then you'll click D because that is what we're doing, which is 4 and you'll hit enter and then negative 4 is going to be your determinant. Okay, now we're going to be solving x. Second matrix, go over to edit and we're going to do 8 and change that to 2 
by two. And you're gonna do eight, you're gonna fill in your chart, you're gonna use 18, enter, negative three, 34, and negative seven. Then you're gonna exit on out of that using second mode. Then you're gonna go back to second matrix, go over to math, one, then second matrix, and eight, then enter, and then you're gonna have to divide this by your determinant, which is negative four, to get x is six. Now we'll be solving for y. Okay, now we'll be solving for y. So you're gonna go second matrix again, go over to edit, we're gonna do nine, change this to two by two, you're gonna fill in your chart again, which this time it's gonna be four, 18, eight, and 34, and then second mode to get on out of it, then second matrix, go over to math, one, second matrix again, then you'll hit nine, enter, and then that's your answer, but you gotta divide by the determinant, which is negative four, to get an answer of two, which means your final answer will be your determinant is negative four, your x is six, and your y is two. Today we'll be doing a three by three equation using Kramer's rule on a graphing calculator. To start off, you're gonna go second matrix. You're gonna go on over to edit, one. You're gonna change this to a three by three. Enter, and then you're gonna fill in your chart, which in this case is gonna be one, two, negative three, one, negative one, one, three, four, and negative four. And then you're gonna hit second mode to go and exit out. And you'll go back to second matrix, go over to math, hit one, then go over to second matrix, one, and then negative seven is your determinant. Okay, so now we're gonna be solving for x. We're gonna go second matrix, go over to edit, hit two this time. You're gonna change this to a three by three. Once again, you're gonna fill in your chart, negative two, two, negative three, negative one, negative one, one, four, four, and negative four. And then you're in second mode to exit out. And go back to second matrix, go over to math, click one, second matrix again, two, enter. And then you're gonna divide that by your determinant, which is negative seven, and you're gonna get zero as your x. Okay, now we're gonna be solving for y. So you're gonna go second matrix, go over to edit, three, change it to three by three, then you're gonna fill in your chart, which in this case is gonna be one, negative two, negative three, one, negative one, one, three, four, negative four, then you're gonna exit on out of there using exit mode. Then you're gonna do second matrix, math, one, second matrix again, then you're gonna do three, enter, and then you get negative 35, and you're gonna divide that by negative seven to get five, so y is five. Okay, so now we're gonna be solving for z. Second matrix, go over to edit, then you're gonna go to four, change this to three by three, enter, one, two, negative two, one, negative one, negative one, three, four, and four again. 
and you're going to exit using exit mode, I mean second mode, then you're going to go back to second matrix, go over to math, click one, then go back to second matrix again, four, enter, you get negative 28, then you divide that by negative seven to get z equals four. Now your answer should end up with determinant negative seven, x zero, y four, and y five, and z four.